<coughs> what was that? <coughs> Where did that come from? <coughs> What's going on? And welcome to the Angry Buddha official. I think uh, last video I vlogged a little bit. Same shit's going on. Uh, been working a little bit again uh, at nights. Music in the background is no, is not copyrighted music. So, shut up YouTube. Y'all, if anyone that is watching this video makes videos themselves, if you want background music, or if you want to be able to play something while you're on camera uh, and recording a YouTube video, um, you can if you don't have anything to edit or if you just want something in the background while you're playing and don't want to worry about it you can go to lo-fi fan uh on youtube here or there's a lot of uh, them out there like skeezy as fuck and other lo-fi channels like lo-fi jazz lo-fi beats and stuff like that if you like that kind of stuff or if you just want some background music um they you just have to search no cop just look up no copyright lo-fi and there you go you got background music and you're good um just trying to figure it out i personally i like it and i uh like it in the background might make my videos less boring um anyways uh man um so been doing some stuff lately and I have not been dipping. What? So how are you gonna not dip on this dipping review channel? What the fuck? It's cause I've been snoozing. I've been snoozing and I've been doing a lot of stuff. Okay, and when I say I've been, <laughs> let me clarify. I have been only doing this for like three days or something like that. Like, I don't know, I just, uh, my mouth was just feeling kind of, meh. I mean, I take care of it, but even then, it's just, I keep it dipping, like, all day. I've came, I've came on, uh, this channel and said this shit before, or said that I tried to quit, or whatever, I don't know. So, we'll see. I feel pretty good about it this time. Um, it's not necessarily that I want to, it's just, like, like, dip is bad or anything. Just for me, I feel like I could probably... I probably don't need to be dipping, to be honest. That's not how I should be taking in my nicotine. It's just because I like it and uh, I don't want to smoke because uh, I used to be a smoker. And, uh, you know, there's slip ups sometimes. Uh, you know, I've bummed cigarettes, I've bought in packs. Um, uh, it's just, ugh, I don't want that shit in my body. And snoozing and, and, okay, I don't think that dip is unhealthy. I do think you have to be careful and take care of your mouth better. I'm not saying that tobacco use period is not dangerous, but I don't think dipping is that bad. Now, orally though, I mean, it can be if you don't take care of your mouth. Um, I've learned my lesson from not doing that and, uh, you know, I don't know, I've gotten it in line where, you know, I did take care of my mouth, but still, you know, I just, I just want to be cleaner. I have uh, four little ones uh, at home, some of y'all know, and I just, I kind of want to be a little bit more discreet about it. Um, uh, you know, they see me spit there one day, they ask me all the time, why am I doing that? Or, you know, the two oldest, and I'm just like, I don't know, I just, you know, I don't want to say I don't know, but I don't even, like, I don't want to lie, and I don't want to, you know, I just don't want to do it around them. I'm trying to, you know, at least provide a better environment, even if I didn't, uh, well, I may have had one, I just, my point is, I don't want them to, you know, look, oh, well, daddy did this, so I'm going to do it too. He got me. Anyway. Uh, but, anyways, so I've been snoozing, and I've been trying to stick with it. I really haven't had any cravings or anything like that. Uh, been enjoying it. Still delicious. Can still enjoy my hobby. Um, oh, and this is not, not cancel out that I won't smoke a, a nice little bit of pipe tobacco every now and then. I mean, that's just what it is. But I'm not addicted to that. I take in a lot of dip when I use dip. And, I mean, shoot, when you dip and you use, like, a can a day... I mean, some people use more than me, which that's even crazier, but use a can a day or like, you know, a can and a half or something. Ah, oh, God, I just keep it in my mouth all day. So even if I'm taking care of my mouth, I got this shit in my mouth like all day long. And yeah, that might be so with this, but this has been proven uh, to be cleaner. Um, it is less dangerous. And when I say less, I'm saying less out of every other tobacco use. And I don't mean that 
it's entirely safe, but most likely I'm not gonna get cancer from snooze. And if I did get cancer, it would be from my past us usage of other tobacco that I shouldn't be partaking in because it's bad for your body. And uh, snuff, definitely not dangerous. I mean, maybe if you overuse it, I think there's been one case, maybe one person. And that's because of overconsumption. And I don't know. Some people say, you know, you sniff it too hard, it goes into your lungs. I mean, I don't know if that's true. I feel like it's kind of the same thing with other things that if you were to put up your nose, like when you snore, like it's supposed to go every in, anything with like insulation, you're supposed to, it's supposed to go in the membranes and you know, not all the way up to your sinuses. That's where people fuck themselves. But I'm just saying like, shit's gonna go to your stomach or into your, you know, it's, you're gonna drip, it's gonna go to your stomach, it's gonna melt before it gets anywhere. Uh, not saying that you should be ingesting and you know letting it burn up in your stomach acid, but just I don't. Maybe it goes to your lungs. I don't. I don't think that's how that works. Um, I could be wrong. I'm not a doctor, so whatever. But uh, that's not why we're here today. Six minutes in, and we're just shit. Yeah. Get the little lights on in the background. <laughs> it doesn't go around that end. It goes around all the way this way. Where this is where the camera is. Actually, on my bed. Just. Uh, I'm going to do a quick little review of vlog. I know, I'm like, it's been a while since I had long hair when I started this YouTube, YouTube channel. I had actually just cut my hair. And I basically kept my hair short for about, a little, like, over a year. And it sucks. Because really, okay, if you know me personally, you know that I like my hair really long. And if I don't have really long, I will keep it short. But I dreaded my hair a while back. Uh, about over a little over a year ago and uh, you know my hair was like down here and I don't know that's it this is the real me but I'm not used to it again and it's been a while I had my hair long for like six years and that's just who I am um, uh, not that I yeah anyways um, <laughs> but yeah this is just weird so I'm just like trying to get used to it I'm looking at it as I'm talking to y'all so I'm just kind of like what the fuck it's just a weird look <laughs> uh, but yeah, so throwing the shit back out, goddammit. But I'm not dreading it this time, so it is what it is. Yeah, my hair is like down here. Or I dreaded it. And it's like, yeah, you can't see my hands, but it's like it's past my ribs. And then I dreaded it. So about up to my ribs. And then I cut it and I could have probably kept it down to here and it would have been long already. It would have been long when I start when I started the channel, but and then I cut it again because of like job choices and shit like that. Like, or like what I wanted to do. Not because I needed to, but I wanted to, I was trying to be like, oh, I don't know, whatever. Doesn't matter. Fail. Didn't work. Cause look at me now. Back to my old ways. No. <laughs> I'm, uh... Anyway. Oh, wrong can to be doing that. Okay, yo, I got some gentle scotch here. Which, y'all know I like the dry snuff, but I also like the menthols, too. But lately, I've actually been on a natural snuff kind of thing going on. I really like menthols, but, um, just, I, when I use menthols, I love that cold so much. I just want to stick a bunch in there and put a shit ton of, uh, menthol snuff right in my nose. And then it dries it the fuck out and closes it up. And I'm like, god damn it. And I hate that shit. And since I'm not dipping, I don't want to fuck myself up right now. Um, because I do need some in more intake sometimes. And it's nice to just, okay, well then let's just take a little pinch. And, or take a nice pinch and then we'll be okay. You know, it's okay. You don't need that much nicotine. But the fact is, if I close my nose up, then I can't do that. So let's not do too many menthols. At least right now. So we kind of gain a routine here where we're just like, it's okay, and we're snoofing. But anyways, uh, I don't I want to say maybe I reviewed this once before. I don't know. I know, like, everything about all the other snuffs, but I don't know shit about snooze. Um, I don't know a goddamn thing, except for the little bit that I've learned and read. Um, and uh, uh, it's new to me. It's completely new to me. I don't know shit. I haven't researched anything. I mean, I have a little bit in the past. And this is not the first time I've snoozed. I don't think this is the first time I've had snooze on the show, too. Or on this channel. Or whatever. It's a show to y'all. It's not a show to me. That's why I think it sucks. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> um, Alright. Anyway, let's uh, pop one in. Mouth is super dry. Hell. That's not going anywhere. This is not a soda. I'm 
drinking a kombucha live probiotic uh, drink. If you don't know what kombucha is, it's fermented tea, sparkling fermented tree. Uh, fermented tree. <laughs> I had some trees, but they weren't fermented. Anyways, um, uh, God, I'm talking way too fast. It, uh, it has like 80% less sugars than a soda, and it tastes just like a root beer. So, kombucha root beer flavor, or root beer. Basically. Yeah. Anyways, it's good, man. I love these things. It's good for you guts. Okay. Anyways, to me, got the bergamot. I taste salt, the bergamot, the citrus. If you know about snooze, then you know it's up already. I'm not really even doing a review here. I just wanted to throw it in and mention that you know, if you've never tried it, it's not bad. You swallow it, you do get it. The white portion, um, uh, the, when you see the white portion, I believe it's all snooze. Like I said, I'm new to it, but with the white portion in general, uh, sweet snooze, you get, uh, it just it releases slower, so it lasts longer. And I want to say they put like a little bit more nicotine in the original, which is the yellow one. And it's a faster release, so you kind of get it at once. So, you know, the yellows, I, I need to get some. I put it in stock. And I'm at the store that I got these. They didn't have uh, the original when I went there. So I got this one and I got some mint, which is in the fridge. Uh, and the mint's really good too. It's just like this, but minty. So kind of salty, citrusy, but minty to me. Maybe not citrusy, but it's definitely uh, salty to me. I don't know. It's not overpowering. It's a really good mint. It's not like dip mint, um, uh, which I like sometimes, it, but that's more sweet. This is, uh, yeah, it's more salty. But I'm going to say well, the mint is, and so is this. But I like salty stuff. Y'all know I do. Um, uh, I like salty over sweet or mint. But um, uh, that one, the snooze mint is really good, or the general mint, excuse me. Um, uh, but I'm gonna get the original. They say like, you know, I've been talking to a lot of people about it, and they say that they say to maybe like throw in one of the originals in the morning, and then you get that, you know, you get that quick release like you want if you're kind of chasing that nicotine still, and then boom, white portions all day because it's a slow release, but you still get it. I'm personally, y'all don't have to be that way. I personally want to stop the urge to uh from someone that used to and not too long ago either was still i don't know i've pushed it to the limits with abusing my body and doing you know whatever so i'm trying to be a better person about it or not a better person but trying to be better on this bod i got four other children uh or four children to take care of so i want to be around you know and that doesn't mean that you won't be but for me the damage has already been done, even if you can't see it. So, we'll leave it at that. Didn't mean to talk to those heads. <laughs> um, uh, okay, so we got some Forest Hammer here. Uh, by the Viking, which is, I believe... I don't know who owned it before. I believe Wilson's of Shero owns this now, which people don't like. They don't like this recipe, but it's the only one I've ever had. I might have had the old one a long time ago, but... Uh, from a friend, but no, I don't think so. Um, uh, I don't know what I'm thinking of. What did I try? Anyways, it doesn't matter. But, uh, so I don't even know if I know the old recipe. And I, I enjoy this because it's all I know. So it's still nice. It's a nice, some people I want to think want to say there's a mix of dark, light, and like medium kind of colored tobaccos. I'm not quite sure. We got a little Viking here. can't really see it. There's a little pinch there. Now what I like about this is straight smoky. This is a different smoky. Now, some might disagree, some might hate me for saying this. This is good stuff. It's great. The flavor, everything, I like it better than this. This reminds me more of W.E. Garrett. So, okay, as far as smokiness goes, campfire smell, this is more smoky and more smoky like W.E. Garrett and Sons. We have right here. This, however, and yeah, dental, 
made by the same people made by the same people but to me this uh i don't know this is more super smoky campfire straight fire this is like smoky good smoky fire cured maybe but smoky leather that's what this smells like leather now some people like to say this smells like leather too and i mean i can i can see that it has a leather but there's something a darker smokier smell there and that's what this reminds me of now this is what i was gonna say people might wanna i'm not saying this because i'm an american just saying i don't know i feel like i get it i know us americans think we're the shit and we think we're hard as fuck and i don't feel that way personally so just want other people to know i mean I, don't get me wrong i'm probably where i'm from but i'm not gonna say oh we're the hardest ever that's an opinion okay anyways Back to the point, I do though think that American Scotch is, now that doesn't mean I have not had any Rusticas or Rusticas uh, by European or Indian snuffs. Um, I have not had any of those, so I cannot judge, I cannot really say there. But as I've experienced from US and European as far as like, as far as like uh, Britain, or I'm sorry, England, or you know, um, I have not experienced a, and I'm not talking about snooze, I'm talking about just dry snuff. I haven't found a scotch, I haven't found a toast or, you know, a EU snuff that, uh, that's a toast or a scotch that is, a God, oh my God, how did I lose track of what I was saying? I don't think that, I think all U.S. scotches are like the heart, are the strongest. I was about to say the hardest. Did y'all hear me? I was about to say the hardest. I'm not one of those people. I don't think that. Gah! Now that I'm making a big deal about it, it sounds like I am. Okay, anyways, all I'm saying is I think that there's more nicotine in it. That's what I'm saying. Maybe it's because this is more of a, this is, I wouldn't even say is a completely fine grind because whenever you take pinches of it, you can feel the little balls in there. And sometimes you got to push on them to uh, break them. This is complete dust. And so they might contain the same amount of nicotine, but I guess I'm feeling this faster because it's so fine grind. I mean, this is dust. It is not there. It's soft. It is not moist whatsoever. It is dry, which is nice because it or the it it shoots right up there. It's great, but it will dry your nose out really quick. But and that's only I say that because I if you I like to cram a bunch up there so it makes it pretty dry. But anyway, I'm um, uh, still, but it's quick. It will give you that buzz. This, I feel like it settles a little bit more, kind of sticks in there. Also, a little bit more moist too. Uh, nothing wrong with that either. Um, uh, but um, I enjoy them all equally in their own way. Um, uh, but since it's finer, I get that faster, if that makes sense. So if y'all just, just a little hint, if y'all want something a little bit faster, to me, I feel like you want to go with the finer grind and a uh, drier, a very dry snuff, or dry out some of your snuff. If you dry it out and it's fine grind, I mean, there's no moisture. It's gonna shoot like real fast. We're having some old toke, and like when the toke, uh, when the toke uh, dried up, and this uh, particular tin, I don't think it needed to be. I just had it, I didn't use it as fast, and it did get dry, or I let it out, or whatever. The point is, is that it was an old tin, and I preferred it when it got that dry because i it's like i felt it quicker it was already fine but it was so moist that it's like it wasn't shooting up there as fast you know it really makes a difference you wouldn't think not a huge one but you start to notice you know over time uh anyway so oh I'm just dropping everything but anyways that was my whole point uh well okay then what this says work hard and be nice to people anyway um so yeah now that we know what that smells like let's god <laughs> i've really used uh, that one i haven't came to it in a while but i used the crap out of that i didn't i hadn't looked in there in a while so i didn't know it was that far down dude i love this stuff it's so good i used to be like oh only up so when i first started using snuff i was because 
I was watching so many YouTube videos, I was not interested in American snuff at all. I was like strictly just, I only wanted to use EU snuff because I was fascinated by it. It was exotic. It still is exotic to me and that's why I get a rush off of it. Like I love just collecting them, smelling them, not even using them. I just like to smell them sometimes and then put it back and then uh, maybe I'll use a different one, but I'll like just smell another one. I don't know. I love it. Um, uh, anyway, so I'm going to do a little bit of this. But yeah, I wouldn't do any EU snuff, or I wouldn't do, I wouldn't, I was turned off by it. I was like, it's good, but I was turned off. But, uh, watching other people appreciate it, I started to appreciate it, too. See, there's leather in this one. <sighs> that leathery smell. But there's still a darker smell to it. That's a little stale, I'm not gonna lie. Kinda sucks. This is a little bit fresher. Now, I know I'm putting three different types of snuff in my nose. And that totally changes it. But... I'm going off the instant smell that I'm getting. Now, just by putting this different, this dental, okay, I got Viking, then I got uh, W. Garrett and Sons right on top of that, and then I got dental right on top of that. I get it. Different smells. But I could immediately smell very, 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 very similar. But you can smell just, this is just a little bit lighter in smokiness compared to this one and there's more of that leathery i would say like when you are new to this if you were to pick one of these both of these are 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 big dogs you're gonna burn your nose they're tough but if you were to compare if you were to you're like i want to do it but which one's stronger i would say that the w garrett and sons uh scotch is stronger and I don't know why, but this is more smoother. You got your Copenhagen uh, wintergreen. You got your Copenhagen smooth. I don't think there's a difference except for that one is just a little bit lighter than the other. As far as like burn or whatever goes. But either way, this is still, if you haven't had this in a while and you put it in your nose, don't burn. But you go back. This might save you. Put some of this in your nose and then put some of this. Start using this and it will. You don't have to do that. I'm just saying. They're so compared. They're so, like there's really no difference like but it's worth talking about because there is something slightly different there and i feel like to me in my opinion and from my preference or from my uh experience it's just a tad bit lighter just a little bit not that much just a little bit now this though it really captures that campfire smell there's not as much leather here but it's still smoky very nice that's all I got to talk about. Just trying to vlog. Um, hope all of y'all are doing well. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Uh, I know I've been slacking. I'm sorry. Uh, only human. But I love y'all. And uh, hope y'all stick around. Peace.